a yurt in the woods is, is always a nice spot to find. I wish I had one in my backyard too. So Dudley Edmondson, I know you as a visual person, as a visual thinker. Mm -hmm. uh, how did photography kind of grab you? Photography was kind of one of those things that I felt like it was a good way for me to keep track of birds I was seeing. So uh, I've been a bird watcher since like 1980, 79, 80, and I kind of got into photography around the same time. And, uh, you know, I really, nature was something I picked up as a really young man. What brought you to Duluth? I decided I wanted to be a wildlife photographer and I wanted to photograph hawks. And I heard about Hawk Ridge. And so I moved here to um, be close to Hawk Ridge. In fact, my house, I ended up choosing a house that's right in the neighborhood below Hawk Ridge. And it's following your passion? I started in nature uh, in the, uh, you know, when I was a kid in Ohio. And so moving to Duluth is certainly following my passion and a continuation of that and, and uh, you know, not being afraid to take, take a chance. I mean, when I left Columbus, it was literally starting over again um, in a community where I really didn't know anybody. Uh, I met one guy named uh, Sparky Stensis, and that was really the, my first connection to people in Duluth. And I thought, if everybody in Duluth is as nice as this guy, I probably will do just fine. I think it takes some courage. Yeah, yeah, most definitely it takes a lot of courage to do that kind of thing. And I think a lot of people uh, find themselves um, unable to muster the, the courage to, to make a change even though their daily lives are not great but they don't have the courage to to make that leap uh, I think about it like as being in a river and standing on a stone and knowing you need to to move continue down the river but you're afraid to to, to take that leap and I think that um, that kind of thing keeps people sort of unhappy in, in one spot and uh, I, I feel like you take the leap, if you miss the next rock, the worst thing happens, you float back to the previous rock, you get out again and you start over. But uh, not trying, I think people do themselves a disservice. Tell me a little bit about uh, creative lane changing in your life. I, I knew you as a still photographer. From probably the mid 90s to the early 2000s, uh, I was a professional wildlife photographer. I shot still cameras. I shot, um, you know, big DSLRs and, and massive lenses, uh, doing mostly wildlife, doing mostly bird uh, work uh, for encyclopedias and field guides and things like that. So that's kind of how I built my career uh, shooting that way. Um, <clears throat> but at a point uh, in the early 2000s, I, I realized that, um, you know, I wanted to do things a little differently. So uh, at that point, I, I, I kind of got out of the photography a little bit and got into writing and so I went from working with an author and photographing his books to writing and photographing my own books. Was that about control? Was that about inspiration? What, what you fueled know, that? I'm a person I feel like I need things to change about every three to five years or so or I get really bored um, and it was about just throwing myself a, a monkey wrench in my plans, more or less, uh, self-sabotage even, because I mean, I was making good money, I was traveling the country a lot, but I was just starting to get bored, creatively starting to get bored. And um, so I decided that I wanted to, to write and photograph my own stuff. And so, um, so I did that. I spent about four years working uh, on my, my own books. Um, and then in 2006, um, you know, those books came out. 
And then um, a couple of years ago, I think it's maybe been two years now, that I made another switch um, and got out of still photography work and into video production. Where does curiosity fit in your continuing evolution in deciding where you want to spend your time and money? Knowledge, whatever it is, uh, you know, whatever form it takes, uh, is almost like jumper cables off of a battery to my brain. Um, I just, it's like, this is new, I don't know this, <clears throat> you know, suddenly I'm alive and I'm like, you know, trying to take it all, take it all in and then I'll at some point want to build on it. Speaking of building, <clears throat> yeah. how does your new building fit in that curiosity? Well, uh, I didn't know how to build. <laughs> that was a huge learning curve for me uh, because I had been relying on a friend who I've known for many decades and he usually helped me with projects and he was only available for a short period of time. Uh, he helped me put the bones up um, I, I basically I wanted to build a nature observation structure in my backyard that was year-round. You know, there, it was a, an interesting little balance between wow this is exciting because it's new information and holy crap this could take me a month to finish or two months. So in that process mm -hmm. um, did you have a chance to reflect with a hammer in your hand uh, what it takes to, to learn a new skill, what it takes to reinvent what, what it is you want to be good at. Yeah, I certainly did, <laughs> but uh, it, it, was, it was, the excitement was short-lived because it was, just, it was just an overwhelming amount of work. You know, in the end, the excitement now for me is I can't wait till 2018 or next year to build more things because now I have all these newfound skills and I want to put them to use and I cannot wait to... I did build a bird feeder recently just because I was so excited about having new skills. Um, and, uh, but next year I plan to build a second deck and um, build some other structures and also do some repairs on the house. So what's your advice <clears throat> for someone who, who hasn't challenged themselves in that way or is considering a major change in their, in their life, in their direction. Just do it. Watch a lot of YouTube videos, <laughs> but give it a shot. Um, y you, you'll find that, you know, if you're a person who's not, you know, you don't get hives from change um, or being uncomfortable uh, about knowledge, then I think in, at the end, you will definitely be happy that you did it, most definitely. Thank you for taking yeah. time. Sure. <laughs>